lot of people telling you to make a move? Do you ever get the feeling that it's actually time to do something? Now, just in case you're wondering what we're trying to do this week, let me try to make it completely clear. Yeah. It's your move. We hope you'll walk away at the end of this week and remember one thing, that you have a move to make. I mean, how many times have you been to a conference or listened to a message and you left the room highly motivated to do something about it, but you didn't? Nothing really changed. If we're honest, sometimes there's just a gap between what we hear and what we actually do. We have great intentions, but things can just get complicated fast. They can get confusing. Now, this is a complex game that we play in the States are high. Now before you even know it, you find yourself surrounded by a host of options, a variety of obstacles. Choices can be paralyzing. It doesn't matter if you're new at this or a seasoned player. You have to learn that when it's time, you have to make a move. Now, the thing I like about chess is it's concrete. If you move uh, from this square to this square, you know you've moved. It wasn't an idea, it was an action. You know if you did, you know if you didn't. You were here, now you're there. And it's, it's funny how we can make ourselves feel better simply because we are thought about moving or we dreamed about moving. We even talked about moving, but that's not how chess works. If you don't actually move, you ultimately forfeit. Admit it. Some of you haven't moved in such a long time. You're just a little stiff. Now, I'm not really talking about those of you who church of God or assembly of God. I know you know how to <laughs> But for us Baptists, Episcopalians, Presbyterians, and the rest of us, uh, we need some practice before rigor mortis sets in. <laughs> now, we know that during the course of the next three days, some of you are going to get so excited, you're just going to start moving. And since it may be the first time in a long time, you need to Go ahead and start stretching some of those muscles so you don't pull something. Right. Now this is a great place to practice. So, what if we all just decided to move right now? I think it's a great idea. I know a lot of people in this room. Now, there's a lot of people in the room and some might look at you like you're crazy and look at you a little funny if you move the wrong way, but I have a theory. If everybody's moving at the same time, we can't be nearly as judgmental. All right, so stand up. Everybody, I can see you back there. Stand up. Yeah, you in the back by the door. Where? Well, yeah, I see you. Stand up. Yeah, you and you too. Stand up. Now, let me introduce you to your movement coaches. They're going to be like uh, the move trainers. They're on stage and standing in the aisles with red and yellow shirts. Now, as the song gets going, there they are. As the song gets going, follow them for the motions. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Dance, 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 dance. I hit the floor because that's my plans, 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 plans. I'm wearing all of my favorite brands, 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 brands. So give me space for both my hands, 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 hands. Yeah, yeah, cause it goes on and on and on It goes on and on and on Yeah, yeah, cause it goes on and on 